I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my report for you, uh, Libra, for the week of February 6. I hope you like my background this week. It's a temple I visited in Tokyo, in Japan. It's just outside of Tokyo. I couldn't tell you where it was. I went with friends, but uh, I do remember it to be very nice. If you ever get to Tokyo, then do go along and uh, have a look. Um, all right, so this week we have a number of things happening. First of all, there's towards the end of the week we have a full moon lunar eclipse in your social area and connections with people. Uh, <clears throat> and the moon is in this area and the sun is right opposite. For there to be a full moon, it's an opposition. There are quite a few oppositions with the moon this week, so... It does heighten emotions and certainly through your um, connections with people and social outings and you know the, so it can be highlighted during this time who is on your side and who's not on your side okay so who's working for you and who's working behind the scenes against you so things can come out now which can be very beneficial but there is a trine between Jupiter and the Sun and this is a beneficial trine Jupiter is in your sign although <clears throat> Jupiter does go retrograde this week so it's like things can be put in place there is sometimes a bit of a pullback or delay with a retrograde but I don't mind Jupiter so much retrograde because uh, you know you can get almost a little bit too idealistic with Jupiter and the retrograde helps to ground it and make it real so in that sense Mercury is on the move and moves into this area of connections so being able to have discussions with people it's going to be a very revealing week I feel um, now and right opposite you Venus is in your love zone now so uh, it, with Mars so it's quite a passionate time Venus is going to stay here for an, a longer period than usual through her retrograde transits so you get a chance to uh, work on any love issues relationship issues as well over this next couple of months so it's a very interesting time this opportunity uh, there's stages where you can be <clears throat> excuse me pushed out of your comfort zone and have to deal with things that are perhaps a little uncomfortable but it helps to make up your mind and give you clarity and move forward so um, try not to worry about the awkwardness because it, it when you get to that sort of point of feeling a little bit sort of messy or uncomfortable it's a sign that things are changing and you're moving forward okay and uh, of course it's a Valentine's Day coming up next week so if you want to find out where Venus and Mars are in your personal chart and what's happening with love for you over the next uh, few months then go along to jenniferangel.com on the readings pages and you can book a session with me through there. I have lots of free complimentary material on the site as well so you can get your daily horoscopes, monthly, weekly, lots of articles okay I hope you enjoy the site thanks so much for watching and uh, love and luck to you and we'll see you next week. Bye for now.